Hi, welcome to Ogre Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up the Z-Link Wi-Fi baby camera with pan tilt. The model is DCS-855L. First thing is take the power cable that came with it, the one with the micro USB connection, and plug it in to the unit. Once you plug it in, the unit will begin to scan the room. Also the LED indicator will be illuminated red for power. It will begin broadcasting its own wireless and network, the net wireless network name also have its own unique password. That information is printed on the back of the quick install guide. If you happen to lose this quick install guide, it's also printed on the bottom of the dealing unit right over here. You can also take this time to go to your app store, either on your Android device or Apple device, and download the app called My D-Link. So here we see that the power into LED is a solid green and a cloud blue. It chimed. All right, so the boot up process is complete. Now we can launch this My D Link app. Currently, I don't have a device connected. So, what I'm going to do is on upper right over here, it has a camera symbol and a plus right above it. I'm going to press this. And this here's a setup wizard. So, I'm going to say set up a new camera. So, here we're following the instructions. I'm going to hit next. Separate plug in the camera, have a power up, LD indicator, yes, it's green. Next, this one speaks about the, the Wi Fi password and SSID, print on the bottom. All right, hit next. So now it's saying I need to exit the app and connect to the Wi Fi that's being broadcasted by this unit right here. So I'm going to head to my settings, go to my Wi Fi, and here it is, my dealing cam. So I'm putting my password, click join, try and connect, verify the connection. All right, it's connected. So I'm gonna head back to this My D-Link app, head back to the app, now it's connected. Next. Okay, so I can change the name of the camera if I wanted. I would need to give it a new password. Once you enter a new password, Hit return. Next. So here I scan my home wireless network. So I can connect it to my home Wi Fi if I wanted to. So I'm going to choose my home Wi Fi, put in my password, then hit connect. Now I'm going to go back to my phone's Wi Fi settings page and connect back to my home network. The settings, here's the Wi Fi. Choose my home Wi Fi ID. It's connected. Now I'll head back to this My D Link app. I'm going to click the next button. If you don't have a D-Link account, press here and create a new account. And I would recommend that because if you have a D-Link account, you can easily access this camera remotely, whether you're at work, over a cellular network, in another country, over the web. Since I already have a D-Link account, I'm just going to enter my information. Then I'm going to hit next. All right, it says congratulations, you have finished the setup process. All right, click finish. And there it is. Now I can actually access this camera right here. So here it points out that there's a focus screen right in the middle, so the image is blurry. Just use the tool that came with it to adjust the focus. There, here we have it. Turn off the notification thing. And also the sound. And here's that focus screen. So the image right now is a little bit blurry. It's a little bit blurry. So I can just take this tool that came with it, snap it in place. I can start turning it. Now the image is much clearer. If I wanted to pan, tilt, tap on the screen first once, then I can move the camera. So every move is an in increment, so it's not, it's not a consistent move. And on over here, currently it says it's 25 degrees Celsius in this room. If I want to change something, hit the gearbox, I can change all the events here. Day, night, lullaby, wireless settings, motion detection, background audio, I can turn that off. I can turn off the LED lights. Alright, so now the LED lights are not illuminated, which is really good because a lot of times I find my child's eyes just attracted towards it. Okay, so I mentioned before, here's the temperature. Currently it's set to Celsius, so I'm gonna change it to Fahrenheit. And also, event recording, if it does record, I'm going to set to HD. 
to hit the apply button. And so a lot of times if the image is not that clear, press this middle one right here. Here I can choose either 360p and oh they have the maximum resolution up to 720. But when you increase the resolution to HD, it does tell you that it does take more processing power. So it recommends faster units like the iPad Retinas or the iPhone 5 and better. Adjust the brightness, I can adjust the speaker volume. And so now once I change HD, it's a lot sharper. Let's go over some of the icons on the bottom here. If I press this, I can begin talking into the microphone on my mobile device and it'll come out from the speaker on the D-Link. I take a snapshot. This is for alerts, whether it's motion alert or audio alert. Here's the lullabies. So here I can either play the sound that's built into the D-Link or have my own music that I put on an SD card. This fifth icon right here, this is to turn off the speaker on my phone. Essentially disable the microphone on the D-Link. And when I'm away from home, I'm, I can just press this. Currently, this is home. Press this, log in. Now, this will log into my D Link. So I can access the D Link remotely, whether I'm in another country, over the web, I'm at work. If you want to be notified every time an alert trigger is triggered, just press this little alarm icon and turn on push notification. I'm just going to turn off the Wi Fi. So, right now, I'm connected to the ATT LT network. I'm going to D-Link again, and because currently I set it to away from home, if I try to access the camera, gives you a focus screen reminder again, hit OK, yes, I can still view it. This is over cellular network. You see, and see how this exclamation mark is illuminated? So before when I was moving, when I was speaking, it triggered the alarms. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to set up a D-Link Wi-Fi BB camera with pan tilt. The model is DCS855L. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.